Hey everybody, this is Glenn and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, once again, Happy New Year. It's New Year's Day and uh, today I'm going to be uh, doing a traditional Pennsylvania Dutch dish uh, that I adopted when I moved out here to Pennsylvania. Uh, back when I was in uh, my house in Jersey, we traditionally had uh, pork and sauerkraut all the time, uh, but it wasn't a tradition on New Year's. Uh, the Pennsylvania Dutch uh, do it on New Year's because the pig, uh, for some reason, I don't know the exact reason, maybe some of you people who are out here uh, for a long time and are, have the Pennsylvania Dutch roots can uh, fill me in, but the pig is supposed to be bring good luck and they have uh, pork and sauerkraut on uh, New Year's Day to bring luck forward for the New Year. So that's the tradition out here. Um, from what I understand, it's uh, people come home uh, from all over the country just on New Year's Day for the pork and kraut dinner with their family. So I'm actually not gonna make pork and kraut today. I'm gonna be making applesauce to go along with my pork and kraut. Uh, the applesauce uh, is a side dish that I have always had with my pork and kraut. And I just wanna show you how simple it is and easy it is to make. And you don't have to get it in a can or a jar uh, from the supermarket. It's pretty easy to make. So let's get started. Okay, I have gonna start out with three pounds of apples. I use Macintosh because I like the uh, mixture of the uh, tart and the sweet. But if you like a sweeter applesauce, you can go with a sweeter apple. Or if you can make, if you want, you can just get all Honeycrisp apples and make Honeycrisp applesauce. Uh, if you like a more tart flavor, I would go with the Granny Smiths. But again, this is a nice, the Macintosh are a nice balance of tart and sweet. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to peel and core each of these apples. And I'm just going to show you do one and then I'll come back when the rest are finished. But you do not want to throw away the cores and the peels. We're going to use them. So I have this great uh, apple core. You see, it kind of goes right there and you just kind of push it through. And then you can just release this piece here. And then I'm going to peel this. And like I said, we're going to keep all this stuff. We're not going to get rid of anything here. All right. So this is, you, you can always use a knife. I'll show you how to do that real quick if you want to do that. Uh, let me grab a knife over here. In case you don't have a core like this, uh, what you do is, I'm just gonna peel this first. Makes it a little easier to do if it's peeled already. All right. So if you don't have one of these cores and you just have a knife, you just go right up to the core here and you're just going to cut down like this. Cut down right about here. You don't want to get the core. Well, you can kind of actually see it in there now and do one this way and one this way and there you go you got your core here and you got your apple so all right so i'm going to do the rest of these and we'll come back when i'm finished okay over here i have a small pan and i have one cup of water in there and i put my apple cores and my peels in here and i'm going to turn that on and bring that to a boil at this point. And when it comes to a boil, I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer. And uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, uh, when this, I guess, as I said, uh, when this comes to a boil, I'm gonna turn it down, simmer it, cover it. And I'm gonna use a potato masher. And I'm not gonna do this right now because it's gonna get soft. But I'm gonna start mushing all these cores and apples, apple peels and getting them all mixed in there. And we're not gonna throw this in the applesauce, but you'll see at the end, Got a little surprise to it. So let's take our attentions over to the apples again. Okay, I think you can see down here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is cut these apples into quarters now. So just gonna, and then we're gonna throw them in a, another pot here that I have, about yo big. You don't want it too big, but you don't want it too small either. So I'm gonna get these cut up and put into that pot and uh, we'll come back and get the rest of the ingredients in there. Um, just another FYI, these Mac apples make are a little softer, so they do cook down a little bit better. 
So I'm gonna So you see what I'm doing here. Uh, you don't need to sit there and watch me do this. We'll come back and get everything ready. Okay, I have my timer set for about 15 minutes on these apple cores and peels and they've been simmering here. So I'm just gonna start doing the mashing a little bit. It's gonna be a little hard at first, but as it goes along, it'll get a little easier. So you just wanna take it and mash it down with any kind of potato masher or whatever you have that can get the job done. So, all right, put that back over here, get the lid back on, and we'll turn our attention over here. I'm just gonna turn this heat up just a little bit here. All right, let me move you over here. Again, in this pot, we have our apples. I'm gonna try to see if I can get you a bit better view there. There we go. To that, we're gonna add a quarter of a cup I use a little over because I want a little sweeter of uh, sugar. I have an eighth teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon that I'm adding. Okay, to that I'm going to add the juice of half a lemon and a half cup of water. And we're going to give that a stir. I'm going to use a uh, Plastic spatula, stir this, get these all coated with the sugar and the uh, spices, the salt and the cinnamon and the lemon juice. That lemon juice is just going to give it a real fresh flavor. It's not, you're not going to taste the lemon juice in there, I promise you. It just gives that little bit of freshness, kind of a burst to it, you know? All right. So I'm going to turn this up and bring this to a boil now. Okay, you can see the water from the apples is coming to a boil. I'm just going to give this another stir here and get more coating on these and get the ones that are on top, get them equally dispersed in there. And I'm going to turn the heat down, I'm going to cover it first, and we're going to turn the heat down to a medium low. So. That would be good. And we're going to let these cook about 15 minutes until they're fairly good broken down. I'm mixing occasionally. I'm going to get in there and mix these up uh, probably every five minutes or so. So let's wait for the uh, apple cores and peels and this to be done and we'll put it all together. Okay, we've been going about 15 minutes at this point. And I'm going to take my cup over here. And you can see as I stir them, Part of these are like totally mashed. Some are still intact, but they're very soft. And that's exactly what you're looking for here. So what I'm gonna do now is take that potato masher and I'm gonna mash these up. And you can mash them to whatever you like. If you like a chunky applesauce, keep them chunky. If you like a smooth applesauce, keep them smooth. Uh, you can use a Put them in a blender if you really want it very smooth. I like the little chunks in there. So I'm gonna keep some chunks. Not big ones, I just like a little bit of chunk. And I'm gonna turn this off now. And I'm actually gonna remove this from the uh, stove so it stops cooking at this point. So let me get set up over here. And I'm gonna twist you around here. And we'll put this down here on the cutting board. And we'll go a little bit more on this. As you can see, it's still got some good chunks in there. All right, I think that's good. And the next step is, I'm gonna take those apple peels and cores that we had and I'm gonna put a mesh strainer over this. And I'm gonna pour these right into that mesh strainer there. Like so. And get my rubber spatula out. And now what I'm gonna do, oh, get the rest of this stuff out here, is I'm gonna press on this and get all the release, all those juices 
But you can see how it, that nice redness is getting in there, that color, the red. I think you can see that, can't you? Yeah. So I'm just gonna put this over and I'm just gonna squeeze this out. So the mesh strainer will keep all the solids from going in there, but allow those juices to seep in. And that's gonna add a ton of flavor. Plus a nice, like I said, a nice red color to your applesauce that you don't get if you just didn't do this part. Really a good step. Like I said, instead of buying the can, uh, the jarred uh, applesauce, which isn't a bad product, they're usually pretty natural, but just try this. It's, you'll, you'll be so impressed how easy it is and how much more tasty it is. And you can adjust your sugar content you can adjust your cinnamon, if you want to put more cinnamon in there, less cinnamon, more lemon juice, less lemon juice, it's up to you. But like I said, just gonna keep going until all this fluid out here is extracted from these peels. And then we'll go to our last step here. Now, some people in my family like this, uh, applesauce warm served warm I like it served cold so <laughs> I would make it ahead of time so I could put my portion in the refrigerator all right let me scrape the bottom here look at that good stuff let's see if we any more let's see if we can get any more of this stuff coming out here Wanted to give it up all its goods here. <laughs> all right. Yep, lots more coming out. See that? Keep doing it until I don't see any more juices coming out. Because like I said, this is totally, totally packed with flavor. And nutrients as well. Very healthy for you. Like I said, you can adjust the sugar content to what you need. I think we got it all. Good. All right. What do you think of that? How do you think that looks good? All right, I'm gonna give that a stir. See that nice red flavor it's getting? Red flavor, red coloring, I should say, it's getting. And my last step I'm gonna do just to add a little richness is one tablespoon of butter and that's going to melt right in there and that's going to give it a nice richness again we're done once that butter melts put it in the refrigerator uh let it cool down if you like it warm uh whatever your your preference is um so this is homemade applesauce pretty easy stuff to do not very time consuming but definitely worth uh, giving it a shot. Again, um, for the new year, I wish you uh, God's blessing and peace through this new year and hope that uh, all your dreams come true. And if you have any questions on this applesauce, please feel free to um, post it and I'll be glad to answer. And my prayer for each and every one of you this new year is that the Lord may bless you and keep you and the Lord make you make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Again, God bless and we'll uh, stay tuned for another recipe shortly. If you have any suggestions of things you want to see, please feel free to uh, post that too. I'll be glad to make anything uh, that you want to see made and uh, we can work from there. And other thing, I do have a YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe to that YouTube channel, it will really help me out. It's under Glenn's Gourmet Eats. Um, hope you can find it. Check it out. And again, God bless. We'll talk to you soon.